guys this is mirafia you are watching adam bus channel welcome in my channel uh today i have a really interesting topic for you people that is all about related with the basic rights basic right of what the question is really interesting okay so uh be ready <laughs> the basic right of animals not humans not any other living creature but animals so the question is coming in your mind isn't it weird to have discussion about the animals no there is nothing weird uh i want to highlight some basic points about the animals right the behavior of humans regarding animals how they are treating what is their psychology i am a biology student but uh with my uh faculty i'm also a human as well uh during my analysis about animals and uh actually i conducted my personal research so i came on a conclusion that the human behavior with animals is really worst how it is worse right now i will going to highlight these things in some few points the question is how we are using animals for the entertainment purposes recently i was going through one article and i read about that interesting information that is we are using animals specifically in asian countries like india pakistan sri lanka uh, nepal these kind of countries where we are uh, checking uh, elephants horses and this kind of gigantic animals and we give them electric shocks these shocks penetrate in the skin of animals and because of pain and fear these animals start performing different moves uh, which uh, turn into pleasure entertainment for the people for the audience who are watching that uh, after that uh, the second thing which i realized after my study we are doing a lot of genetic modification in this modern era to change the genetic structure of animal to increase the growth to increase the production the meat quality and so on uh for our economic benefits uh that is really a kind of terrible uh, reality right now uh somehow it's beneficial for people to increase their bank account balance but not for the animals because it's really badly destroying the uh, natural genetic sequences of animals so i think we have to really think about it not only but also uh in third world countries if i talk about the pakistan uh so i have noticed we keep a huge burden on the back side of animals like horses like donkeys and to carry our heavy luggages from one place to another we use animals uh like a uh, like a car okay we can say we can be agree like in the past era there was no traffic uh, system there was no car there, there was no facilities for human to bring their luggage to take their luggage from one place to another place uh, but right now we have, we have really modern technology so still why we are using these innocent animals to carry our luggage right the thing is if they can't speak it doesn't mean that we can give them more and more pain if they can't complain but we have our own mind we have our own sense we have our own conscience to think about them that they can also feel the same pain nevertheless recently i was also learning an article regarding the fashion regarding the modeling and there are some so called top brands in the world which are using animal skins uh to to manufacture the famous uh boots belts uh, bags jackets leather jackets and all that stuff they are taking the skins of animals uh taking to industries um uh, they are just doing the modification and bringing in the market uh, with uh with their brand tag and um, people are buying it in thousands of dollars they are, they are just running behind it because it is so warm so good so comfy so lavish and luxurious but behind that we have really sad reality which we are not able to see or even we are we we can see but we closed our eyes we are denying to see that so apart from all this story apart from all these facts i also studied the other uh, side of this all phenomena that is related with the people who are working for the animals right so yes in 2004 austria has introduced a really basic ban uh, about the animals violence after that we cannot use in austria animals in the circus we can't take any elephant and use as a pleasure instrument right new zealand is also considered the world leader about uh, animals right they are working really amazing they are doing fantastic job in protecting the animals right and uh, i i really appreciate what they are doing for animals they have really big animals husbandries animal shelters 
We are keeping thousands of dogs, cats, street animals in a shelter and providing them food, care and all that stuff. Um, there is no violence in these countries. They're anti-violence about animals and animals are living more better in these countries than our Asian countries. I'm so sorry for that. It is the reality which is present in the world. And I believe America, UK, Canada, New Zealand, Austria, Hungary, these are the countries, Germany, which is playing a key role to protect animals. And the humans are really working hard. For example, PETA, it is the biggest working organization right now, which is uh, saving the animals, right? And working for them. Uh, one thing, I am just putting my question here in front of you people. And you have to uh, evaluate that by yourself. That are we worse than animals or not? My question is, what if somebody do the same things with humans? If somebody will pull you on the road, if somebody will put a lot of luggage, heavy luggage on your back and just use you as a, uh, as a transport system, right? How you will feel or if somebody will put you in a cage without doing any kind of crime, how you will feel if you don't have uh, speaking skill if you don't have speaking ability in your senses you can't speak you can't tell anybody if you don't have any media in your community like animals don't have any media person who can come on camera and speak about the violence which they are facing right now so what you will gonna feel so my question is are we really worse than animals or we are not humans we don't have any emotions or we lost our conscience are we really alive or i think that animals are better than us if you don't say them anything they will never gonna attack you they can only attack you when they feel themselves in danger so my question is who we are what we are doing right now we are not humans i think because if we would human we will never gonna do it we will not we will never gonna run for the brands we will never gonna remove their skin and put on our handbags we will never gonna keep them in cage. We will never gonna put the heavy tons of luggage on their back because we are humans, right? But right now our actions and words are completely different. We can't match them. We can't keep them in one place. Regarding that whole global issue, we have to really think about, we have to take it on a serious note and do some steps, do some measure to protect the animals like human because animals are not things not property humans have no right to treat them like their own private property because they are also living beings and they can also feel the same pain which we are feeling and facing right now so stay tuned keep watching like and subscribe my channel if you don't want that's fine also but i wish that you will follow my advice and think about it twice